Greetings RC friends, welcome to Profs and Wheels. I have my friend Raj here with his new airplane, brand new. It is the Hobby King Nino or Nino, not Nemo. It's not Nemo, definitely not, the clownfish. So uh, we got these uh, the, with my dolphin. So dolphin and Nino, they came on the same package. And uh, I already flew my dolphin. You may have seen the videos. If not, I'll put it in the, uh, down in the description section. And now it is turn. Uh, the Raj is turned to fly his. Hopefully, the, his flight will be there better than mine. Don't count on it. Yes, uh, yeah, don't, if it is heading towards the trees, cut down the power, Raj. Don't do the mistake I did with my dolphin. Yeah, I will not go towards the trees, I'll stay on this side. And Raj, could you tell us what you did and what kind of electronics and power system that you use on this Nino? So, so I basically go by uh, not KV but RPM. So I chose a motor that is roughly 1700 RPM, 2822. 2822, that's pretty good size. Yeah. And uh, it has an 86 prop at the moment, but uh, ideally I want I wanted uh, 96 or something. Wow, like so you have to maybe cut the foam and then yeah. put a little bit of bracing so around I that. This in just to get started. Okay. Um, I deviated. The foam was bending when I put my own contraptions of holding the batteries in. Oh, I so see. I put so some you structure to put, so that so you did some structural engineering fine. over here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that made it a little heavier. Otherwise, it would go up like this before. Oh yes, mine did. Mine did. And uh, what size so, battery are you using? That looks so like 3S. This is 1300 3S. Oh wow, very small. Yeah. I had but to I use 2200 3S yeah. in order to make mine. I can put it's designed for 22, but of course I'll try it with 13. Okay, so you have some backups over there. And hopefully, uh, where is the CG? Because CG these are notorious for being extremely well, tail heavy. It's kind of deceptive. This is where the book says, and it's right there. Yeah. But watch what happens when I drop it. The nose goes down right away. So it's <laughs> can you do that again? <laughs> So this is the CG where they yep. recommended, and if I drop it, it immediately starts to tilt downwards, which okay. says that it's, it's it, slightly it, it is heavy. slightly not heavy. That's good. It's I think this is uh, this is very different than my dolphin because my dolphin has a lot of side area and the tail is longer. I think that longer think tail made it a lot, very tail heavy. I have a feeling they're the same size. Um, I think I didn't bring the my dolphin. I should have probably uh, to have some side by side pictures, but I didn't. Um, all right, let's give it a shot. Okay, well, uh, do you need any help launching it? Well, let's find out first of all if all the surfaces work. Yes, pre flight checks, very important. Everything seems to be working. Let me just see power wise. Oh, yeah. It has some lift. Pl plenty of power with that. 8 by 6 uh, prop. That was the highest that was recommended, but... 8-6 uh, on this? 8-6, right? 8 by 6? I, I didn't look, but... Yes. Um, folks, I need to let you know that uh, Raj likes speed, so... <laughs> I knew he was going to set, his, to set this up not for like easy flying, but like for speed. So I had to do structural modifying just to make it stiff enough, otherwise oh, yes. it was too bendy. Are you going to take off here or do it on the, on the grass? Oh, yeah. Okay, well... Well, happy flying, good luck! How does it feel? It wants to go where it wants to go. Yes, um, I had to make coordinated turns because it doesn't want to turn like mine, I think. It wants to go left, right? Yeah, you have to give a lot of rudder input. Yeah, you try to turn it left and then you bank left but it goes right. I had the same problem, it had a tendency to uh, yeah, want to turn the other direction. But you are doing pretty good so far compared to my... Oh yeah. I don't know why, I had the same tendency. The right turns were much easier and I mentioned that on my last video of the third flight or the dolphin. Hairpin turns, definitely. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then you can do the loops and probably rolls as well. Are you at 100% throws right now? I'm at 100, whatever it can take. Is it really? And you can do 3D with it, we have plenty of power. Power is there, but it doesn't want to go forward too much. It wants to... No, I, yeah, I had the same issue. But I'm impressed you are doing so much better than I did on my... 
first flight. 3D? Yeah, 3D. <laughs> well, mine ended up in a 3D uh, tree. <laughs> well, if I'm not careful, it wants to go in that direction. I don't know, you know, that even by trim, it's not, wants to, see, wants to go on the left. Yeah, I know. I, I had the exact same issue, Raj. More motor torque. So what, what I uh, did was I was doing uh, heavily coordinated turns with a lot of rudder input. Once banked, uh, I was... Out of my control. Hey, Josh, we're over here. Yeah, it's sometimes better to... Yeah, it doesn't like wind and then... It doesn't want to fly against the wind. I had the exact same issue. Yep. I think it, I'm going to come in and figure out why I want to see you go in one direction and not the other. Alright. <laughs> That's a good landing for this airplane, definitely. Great job, Raj. It is on the ground, not up on down any tree like mine. <laughs> See, the rudder is way on one side, but yet it wants to go in the wrong direction. I know, um, I had the same issue when I was trying to turn left with my dolphin. It was just uh, turning, I mean, banking left and continuing to turn right. And then right turns were more e easier and it never wanted to go against the wind. So you can see the stiffeners are not as good as, uh, but they are better. You know, you can see that it's tilting. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe. And it, it has it has a lot of vertical surface area. So once yeah. you once you actually rotate, roll it, yeah. it becomes, I mean, the, the fuselage becomes like a wing. Yeah. <laughs> so then it's trying to fly, fly on its uh, wrong side, basically. All right. So let's see. So it kept going over there. And it doesn't I, want to go against the wind, right? I forget which way was it uh, worse. I think you said that it was trying to turn uh, right a lot so and not way. left. So you may have to give a little bit of a okay. left rudder. I give, I'll start from neutral again. I forgot now. Okay. <laughs> I forgot which way. Are you going to fly again? Yeah. Cool. And then... Uh, again. Diamond wants to do very easily. Yeah, either it wants to go up the nose up, at least with mine it was like that. Or if you put a little bit down elevator, the nose go comes down and it, it tries to go down very quickly. Wow. I know. And especially at high power, uh, it doesn't want to... Sorry about that. Well, it definitely does knife edge pretty easily, huh? <laughs> it wants to fly knife edge. Well, let's find out. Yeah, I mean... Uh, climb. A knife edge wants to climb. Yes, yeah, so the fuselage is serving like a wing, I think, when you rotate it. Yeah. I think this is like a one control knife edge. You just bank left and it's it starts flying knife edge. It's going to the right a lot. Yeah. Yes, it is trying to... Exactly like mine, but a little better balance than mine, I think. Pusher too, right? Not a puller. No, it is my mine is pusher as well. Yes, like your configuration, but uh, the okay, size of my prop. Now. It seems better at the moment because it is uh, flying with the wind, not against the wind. So mine uh, always behaved badly flying uh, towards the wind. Well, it definitely does the rolls pretty good. There's plenty of aileron authority. Yeah, definitely. Uh, down is very quick. Little touch and it wants to dive. Yeah, down is very... I put it down in the grass. Yeah, I did that one for my landing as well. That's the wise decision. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Almost. Just move. That's what happened. All the 
Well, it's a successful flight, Raj. Okay. It was five minutes total, actually. So the battery, the power consumption is very low. Are you planning to do another flight with a larger battery? Ah, uh, right. Okay. Uh, maybe not instantly, but no, I understand. Of course. Anyway, it is a successful maiden and second flight. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'm thinking of putting some epoxy there. <laughs> uh, it may be a good idea. Even uh, I have some packing tape and also I think... Yeah, tape, tape will do that. Not now, but I'll do yeah. it next Let time. me know. Next time. I also have uh, some duct tape, so that will probably right. cover it nicely. Thanks. Well, thank you very much thanks. for sharing, Raj. Thanks a lot. All right. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. Please come back to Props and Wheels for more very exciting content coming up. Keep healthy and safe. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.